Hello beautiful, my name is Danielle and you are watching Latte Say. Today I actually wanted to kind of touch off of what it is that I did last week, which is Self Love Friday, yay, it's Friday. Um, but no, I actually wanted to talk a little bit more in regards to date ideas, self date ideas that you can do with the one and only yourself, right? So it's for you with only you. That's the purpose of self love dates. Okay, you guys. So before we get into the self date ideas, I want you to use this mantra and repeat it every time you go on a self date. It is, I am looking after myself and trying something new. I love myself and I deserve this. We get so caught up with worrying about taking care of other people and what it is that they might think of us if we spend time on ourselves. But you are the only person that will take care of you. Do not make yourself a back burner, bitch. You are not that person. You are worthy of time with yourself. And so, I want to talk a little bit about that. So when you're doing a self date, you guys, you want it to be thought provoking, fun, creative, relaxing, active, crazy, you know, have it meet one of those things to feed your soul, right? You guys. Um, and so it's also for you with only you remember that because this is a time that you want to take with just yourself to feed that inner self. And so, you know, of course, if you can't, you know, work it out on a Friday, you know, Fridays work for me. I love Fridays. They're just a fun day. And so I just, I chose that day because I like it. But if that doesn't seem to work for you and your schedule, the biggest thing is dedicate a day and time for yourself. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that you can't be impromptu. All of a sudden you have time. Definitely use that time to go and do something for yourself. But don't skip yourself either. You know, don't say, oh, I'll just do it next week. You know, do not procrastinate. Take care of you now in the present moment, right? So, okay, you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into the self day ideas. Oh, I'm super excited for this because I think a lot of people can become very overwhelmed with like, okay, what is it I'm supposed to do? Is it supposed to take all day? Am I going to, um, doing the right thing, right? Um, so one, um, idea could be again, like I probably say in so many of my videos, but go to your favorite cafe and get yourself a, your favorite cup of coffee. Um, latte, mocha, you know, whatever it is. And just sit there, um, enjoy yourself, enjoy the time with yourself sitting there, drinking that either cold or hot brew of coffee and uh, just be present, right? So, and then the other idea could be go to a museum and have lunch. You know, I think a lot of people probably stress on the idea of like, okay, well, I'm just, I'm not in the mood today. I'm tired or I'm stressed or I'm, you know, like all those, other, those negative thoughts. So the first thing that we want to do, of course, when it comes to manifestation is to get rid of those negative thoughts and try and replace them or not even say them at all. So the idea is that if you are feeling stressed, you can go out and you know maybe pamper yourself get yourself a pedicure or manicure and allow yourself to just lay there and just you know get you know feel special and you know good about getting the treatment you know that luxury of you know having someone else do your nails for you you know that's fine you know that's something that you want to be able to do to hopefully get you out of that funk or that mood um, the next one could be is try a new activity. I love, love, love um, trying new things, you guys. It's literally my backbone. It's just who I am. And so I'll pr probably try just about anything, just as long as, of course, it's not something that would um, affect, you know, my life. <laughs> so, you guys, um, another date idea is to go to a bookstore. I find going to bookstores to be very 
you know, I, but I can't think of the word, but it's to me very enjoyable. I like the smell of books. Um, I like being able to hold them and I like being able to just sit at the store and read it. Having the option to look at the back, read the back of the book and, you know, have it in my hand. I, I don't know. So uh, you can go to a bookstore. That's something that, um, you know, if you're feeling like you need to get your, you know, share of, you know, your mind, right? Feeding your mind. Go do that. And so another one, you guys, will be would be to take yourself to the movies. Now, I personally have not done this. Um, no, I'm trying to think. But it's definitely something that you'll see on a future video because it is something that I for sure would love to go and do. And I know that there's a new Marvel movie coming out here soon, so I'm definitely going to probably have to go out uh, during that time and check it out. And uh, another great idea, go on a picnic. You know, make yourself a sandwich that you, you know, like that you can do here at your house. And, uh, well, not here, you guys. But, you know, um, you know, make it at home and then go to a park and just sit there enjoy the noises and the whistling of the birds and the trees and you know um beautiful nature you know so it's just it always lifts me up so that's a great self date uh another one would be to watch the sunrise or sunset so the thing here is, is it doesn't have to take you all day to have your self date so I just went up on the top of the mountain early in the morning and got my time in with myself, you guys. Simple. Not only did I do that, sunrise. I kept saying sunset that day. It was driving me crazy. But for some reason, my mind was just clearly all over the place. So you can do, you know, building, you know, building something new, um, doing something creative, painting, drawing. Um, but what I did was I built a new shelf. So check that out, you guys. So as I've already said, I love to build and create things and put things together. So here I decided to build a new shelf. I'm actually trying to make my workspace flow better and be more useful in the space. And so I did this and I love the industrial look, you guys. So I'm very happy with this piece simple right um but it's just something that it just feeds my soul i love doing it i was so excited because i actually bought myself a compound miter saw something i've been wanting forever you guys and i finally got it yay so yay that just it just made me so happy um i was definitely thrilled to have gotten it and it's my new toy so yay okay you guys um and you know uh i think it would be a fun thing to try like a cooking class that could be a great self date as well and uh, maybe go and get a massage that's something that would just really relax you so if you really are feeling stressed um, or tense from just the day or the week even you know it's Friday you got the end you know you worked all week so for sure definitely go um, get a massage done so um, let's see, uh, might be about it. You know, you can go sightseeing, you know, uh, go on a hike, you know, uh, go to an area that maybe you've always wanted to go, but you just never did because of time constraints. Another one to do, which is something that I actually love to go out and do this, but it's dinner and wine, right? Go have, go out with yourself to a restaurant and have dinner and wine with yourself. Uh, or, you know, of course you can stay in and have dinner and wine with yourself. So, so you guys, I hope those self date ideas really did help you out. Uh, if you didn't watch my video from last week, definitely check it out. I talked a little bit more about just getting out of your comfort zone and the importance of self dates. Let me know, uh, we you know what it is that you guys are doing down in the comments below. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and, uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and, uh, you know, give this video a big, big thumbs up if it helped you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, later. Thanks.